First Updates Now videos are brought to you by Stryker. Discover why so many FIRST alumni and mentors are putting Stryker first when it comes to their careers, internships, and co-ops. Visit careers.stryker.com forward slash first to learn more. Hi, I'm Ben. I'm here with First Capital RI3D. I'm going to give you an overview of where we are here at the end of night two. So this is the end of Sunday. We have Monday and part of Tuesday left to go. So we're just over halfway through, but we've got a lot of the robot done and ready to go. So you can see our drivetrain is complete. We've got eight uh, eight wheel drive down here at the bottom. There are six inch wheels with three of the Rev Neo motors per side through some ball shifter transmissions. So with that, we've got our bumpers over here to the side that Sarath is holding. So you could see um, these aren't necessarily the normal bumpers we'd use. We use Cordura fabric for these for ease of use, but we they go around the robot here, leaving a bumper cutout in the front uh, where the roller is here. We suggest that other teams look at using more slick, uh, slick material for your bumpers, like uh, ballistic nylon is a popular type that we use. So we happen to use something that's a little bit different here, but um, there are many great bumper fabrics to use. And like, like we said here, we've got a cutout in the bumper for you to pull your ball in. So and then I'm going to go to the intake, which Sarah was holding right there right now. So what we have here is the thrifty bot mechanum wheels that help center the ball in the middle. And then we use the Andy Mark mini Omnis to pull it up um, into uh, into the shooter using this poly belting. Um, from there, we also use flat belting. Um, and then another stage of flat belting to move it up into the shooter. And there's intermediary, several different types of Andy Mark wheels to help facilitate that transition of the balls up into the shooter. In the shooter itself, we have four, uh, four fair lane wheels. They're four inches long. Also a steel flywheel right here, extra two pounds. It's powered by two Neo motors with direct drive. So this thing speeds up at 6,000 RPM. The compression here at the exit is about 5.5 inches right now. And this is compressible foam that the balls press against. We've got uh, a limelight vision camera we'll be exploring using tomorrow. And we have an elevator right here that we're going to use for our climbing. It's going to, we are gonna have a pop-up mechanism that comes up to go across the bar. Now, we also have a mechanism right over here that we're looking at using for transition, for translating ourselves across the bar by running this 775 motor. It's got a connector from Refire Solutions here on the end to move side to side. Um, and that's going to make it so we can transition and move uh, side to side on the bar ourselves and uh, probably reposition our center of gravity with the other robots on there. So that really concludes our overview for the day. There's lots of great stuff moving on on our robot here. Um, plenty of different components. We want to thank all of our sponsors for all of their help. Oh, thank you, Eric. I forgot about our wheel. We've also got a prototype wheel device as well. So it has a pneumatic cylinder right here. So it starts up and then it's going to be somewhere on the robot. We don't know yet. And then it comes down, lands on the disc itself. And then that wheel spins so we can move to a different color. Then we'll have the color sensor integrated as well. So we can see where, um, what, what color is active and we could spin it the right amount. So with that, thank you. And looking forward to more awesome robot stuff tomorrow. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live and independent. Thanks to Rev Robotics and all of our first capital RA3D sponsors.